everyone. Um, this is Kritika here. Uh, I know you must be wondering what I'm doing with Pujas.in. Well, I have a deep connection with Pujas.in, but I'm here a little late. But nevertheless, I'm very happy that better late than never. Um, Megla, she's very synonymous with astrology and all the other services, but she's more deeply connected with me and I am to her because she's my sister. Well, it took really a lot of time for me to be here, but as sister, definitely I would say soul sisters, but with astrology as a science, if I had to believe, yes, it did take a little bit of time, but here I am. And today's meeting is very special for both of us uh, and most importantly for Pooja's daughter, um, more so because there are a lot of things which I believed initially as what could be in terms of astrology as a science which I never believed in but thanks to my sis who opened up so much about this to me that um, I started looking at this as science more deeply and not as mere any other profession. So here I am uh, just to uh, kindle all of those little bit of things that my sister has within her as deep knowledge and I really want her to share that knowledge with all of us today to get more acquainted with what really one could achieve or probably excel with the help of this beautiful science that God has actually bestowed on all of us. So that's uh, okay to give a little bit inputs about who I am. Well, um, I am from the education field, um, uh, worked as an assistant professor. Now looking at to excel a little more in terms in that field. Uh, also company secretary by profession. Um, and here I am today to just get a little more of knowledge and information actually learning from my sister uh, through this one-on-one -on -one talk session. So welcome to Pujas.in and we are going to start off this session with Mekla, the, the face behind what Pujas.in can actually do to the world around us. Hi Kro, hi <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I heard your introduction. It was a lovely introduction. Thank you. Uh, like she said, she's my uh, great, great sister. We're soulmates. In yes. many ways, we connect instantly. We're actually cousins, but very, very close, like almost like own sisters. Yes, more than that, I feel, because the connect is so deep and strong. Um, I know as audience, all of you must be like wondering, okay, um, being sisters, Mekla has like clients all over the world and one in home and not got influenced. Uh, no, uh, influenced, if you're thinking about influenced, I think that's a wrong word here. It's just about, um, I think enlightening is the right word here. Uh, I got enlightened. They always say, right, you have the guru, but you don't really identify the potential and then be like, okay, this is not for me. And then anyway, she's always there. I can, I can consult her, but um, deeply I, I was always convinced I was very happy because I whether I really trust uh, anyone you know, you know in terms of astrology or not because that was like a very far-fetched thing for me but uh, I knew that she was always there but it did take a lot of time because I never looked at it as science and that's so important to look at it as science and not just merely as a profession mostly like a biased profession but she was right here so I knew that whatever it might be it's definitely not going to be the one of the kinds that one would actually get acquainted to in the market but I had her but with my own rigidity I can say um, and also fear um, I never wanted to get into this because I always feared that okay what what if I get to know what's in store for me tomorrow yeah and that's what if it's negative <laughs> yeah that, that, that's that's the most important thing actually it's it's the word negative see right so when we look at future we, we are always concerned about oh if this happens then then what but then she told me that it's not just about looking in terms of how things are whether negative positive that's a different thing that's probably much later probably those things it's it's what we as humans attach to science but science as such is so 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 deep and with so much more meaning to it and when she told that i mean like oh yeah i mean why, why am i and if and she always told me that if, if you have a fear and it's it's always good to encounter that and then figure out why why do you even have that fear and post that if you're not happy yeah you you i mean there's no compulsion that you have to do it and when 
when I really did it, I I agree. Uh, I mean, totally my regret that I took so long <laughs> to. I mean, having her by my side always. Uh, I mean, she is one such. Why I'm saying this is truly she is my literally a greatest blessing. Uh, having her by my side never. I mean, you know her. I would always say that it's not just in terms of one really needs to know the chart reading as such, but she really has the power to know what. I mean, because I said soul connection, right? I've read you. <laughs> exactly. I mean, she never needed to literally do my chart and do my reading that way. So really blessed to have her. Uh, not just in terms of sister, but I would really want to tell a lot of you that this is something which I I think it's it's gone are those days where you would really associate. Firstly, uh, gone are those days where I'm sure if I'm going to ask you a question. How was your first encounter with an astrologer? You would say, "Ha, huh, probably you know uh, a <laughs> nice, well-built <laughs> man who would probably be sitting and then thinking, 'Okay, listen, your tomorrow is screwed up.' Uh, mm-hmm. But here <laughs> is a woman who is just not talking about astrology, but a lot more that's attached to it. And then brushing off those, I would actually say a lot of superstition that's attached with astrology also and. that's where she is and i did take a lot of time to get involved in this but i'm glad that uh, i have involved in this particular thing and have benefited so much truly to my excellence i'm <laughs> so happy you finally <laughs> yes you finally, finally made a point you believe in this <laughs> science and completely the credit goes to her because i was always looking at it as a mere i mean why i mean what's the point in knowing what's in store for tomorrow that's not the point it's not about not it's not about knowing what's in store tomorrow but it's about understanding your own self i mean if today self is present there's so much to it and to know that correct she's greatly absolutely you got it right <laughs> that's exactly what astrology does and an astrologer should educate yeah. people about the kind of portfolios through the planets are managing for you and what is the role yeah. so who is the one in charge <laughs> of your career who is the one in charge of your marriage yeah. or your relationships the efforts that you put the communication every single thing is governed by the planets and our yeah. karma and as per the karma the planets act so if you just simply understand this you can just work around your life you can know right. your strengths You can know your weaknesses. You can work on them. That exactly. You're get, you getting scared about things, you know. So she told me one beautiful thing. Um, I, I don't know if 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 I can use those terms. I'm sure if if I go wrong, she's always here to correct me. Um, she said one beautiful thing to say. Uh, and generally, you, you know, she made a beautiful statement. Um, how many times you you really experience this exuberant state of happiness? I said. Yeah, I mean, I am like happy that way. Um, and then, how quickly you actually attract sadness? Oh, that's quite. I mean, you you get it. <laughs> it 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 almost like comes to you. And she said, "There's there's a reason to it as well because my Rashi is a Mithuna Rashi, and she says that we generally have the trait of like attracting a lot of sorrow, uh, which maybe for other people it's a little difficult, but generally I." we do have that trait then i realized okay then i thought okay it's so easy i mean i i used to like feel you know sad by okay you know you know this person hurt me or that person hurt me and then i when i understood this signs okay i i i no more look at it that way so it's it's like more easy for me to handle things and understand the nature not looking at it as how rightly she said not in terms of weakness but how you can actually modulate your life in a better way Yeah, become less vulnerable to uh, you know right. people hurting you. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> and becoming more strong. Correct. Yeah, so, yeah. That, that's how she you know helped me. So, what other kind of clarity did you get through an astrology consultation? Lot of clarity. Uh, most importantly, I was out of this fear, oh, which I had, which was quite deep rooted, to know about uh, what's in store tomorrow. And she, you, you know, the way how you explained it to me. you always told me that there's something called as free will okay. with which we can change these are just the way which govern our life how our life is but the benefit that we can actually draw from them even when you know uh, you, you i'm sure all of those who are associated with her you will know that she would say this is not your favorable planet or this is your favorable planet <laughs> but when she says that this is not your favorable planet that doesn't mean that it's not favorable it can actually work in your favor if we really understand that uh, 
how it has helped me um, you you told me that my um, you know uh, the lagna the main uh, is oh main <laughs> You know, talking my language is <laughs> Surya, yeah. and then I don't know. All of a sudden, I've actually, I mean, all this while, I, I would really worship Surya, but not with involvement. And you have brought in that involvement, and that is something is is great. So I, I always look at him and like, hey, you my know, lagna lord. <laughs> yeah, my lagna lord. I, I feel like so much more connected to you. And then she also told me that how uh, listening to Aditya Rudhya or uh, even you know doing sun salutations or even by giving uh, you know or offering water to Surya Arghya. in the morning, Argya in the morning. I mean that involvement. Yeah, that is something which has changed, and I've started looking at all of these planets as. Oh wow! I mean, they are a part of me, and how well they are governing me. And it's it's nice to learn to know that okay, what action I'm doing, what repercussions it's going to have. So being more cautious about it, it's almost like channelizing my life in 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 the most beautiful way. Yeah, I think you beautifully put it across. It is channelizing. It is channelizing. People fear only because they want to hear the good news. Exactly, and they say the astrologer is good only if they give good news. <laughs> yes, half of them come to me to say come to complain about an. the astrologer right. we only give bad news and i am so fed up so they actually try to program and tell me you know right. give me good news <laughs> at least some good thing they want to hear right <laughs> right yeah, this so that's one and then uh, i don't know internally because i I'm, i'm off this fear i don't have this fear anymore i'm feeling so relieved so relaxed within because i know what is governing me i know how to handle um, you again once very beautifully told me uh, about like how a mother actually looks after her let's say if she has two children that that's what you told me uh, when when she has two children and one is a little strong and the other one is slightly weak she always you know tries to balance that kid uh, try to give more assurance you, you're working on that kid right. basically and that's exactly what happens with planets as well so not so favorable planet even when she says that you know that definitely that's going to uh, you know come in your favor because you can always work around that planet so this clarity never no one trust me honestly no one i mean for me it was uh, I, i i always you know keep kidding with her to say horoscope don't even talk about it, <laughs> it it's a, like a horror <laughs> exactly it's always like horoscope so but it's no more horror to me because it's a beautiful science and i'm so glad that uh, i got acquainted with this beautiful science because of her yeah thank you totally so much you. kritika because uh, i think this was much needed <laughs> your perspective and i'm so happy uh, on camera you have today shared what thank you feel. i mean i i think all all of you all should uh, I I'm sure you would have experienced maybe you, you didn't get a chance to probably come on camera to express all of that but her testimonial say it all so yeah today I got this opportunity to come in front of all of you to share this beautiful experience but I have a lot of questions for her I mean like you know I'm very curious that way and for so that also she said that yeah your your nature is like that very, very analytical <laughs> very very analytical <laughs> she thought basically you know when uh, prior to coming for a consultation she thought she was very confused soul <laughs> so she was like you know I'm not able to make up my mind and decision so we have some planetary positions which actually tell whether you're confused or not so when i looked at it i said no everything looks fine so what is it no it's actually the analytical skill so i said use it in the right way it's a strength that you have See? it's not a problem <laughs> yeah and then that's when she said okay now this is my strength i need to capitalize on that exactly so that's how one should work on their own we are, many things we assume about ourselves that's true Which That's may true. not, if it's a good assumption, it will still work because right. it's a belief working. Correct. But if it's not in your favor, then unnecessarily you're actually, you know, jeopardizing your own uh, strength. Very true. 